Hello everyone, Mark here, and today I thought I'd do an update video on our Thunder Tiger Tomahawk ST Nitro truck to brush this conversion project. Now this project has been going quite a while, and the reason for that is we've struggled to find the correct pitch pinion gears for this vehicle. Now normally on your pinion gears, you're gonna have a 32, 48 or 64 pitch gearing now this one it is an old nitro model so this actually has a 25 dp so it was a struggle to actually find the correct size pinion gears but we've done it so now i've got basically everything that i need to start and get this thing up and running i'm not going to do it in this video because basically i'm waiting for my drill to charge i just want to tell you exactly what i'm going to be doing show you where everything's going and then on the next video i'm going to do it and i'll do it all on video but it might take a while so what i'll actually do i'll either do it in the time lapse or just fast forward the video give you some nice music or something to listen to while you're watching me actually do it so what i'm going to do i'm going to just organize this a little bit better and give you a nice closer look and show you exactly what i'm going to use and where i'm going to be putting it so bear with me so this is just a bag of bits obviously all the old gears and stuff like that that we didn't need and what we're not going to be using so i'm going to put that to one side the radio gear that i'm going to be using so let's just move that just for the time being, I'll just move everything to one side and then we get the truck in a closer view so you can actually see exactly what I'm going to do. So, okay, so let me give you a quick closer look and show you exactly where I'm going to be mounting everything and talking a little bit about it. So the first thing I did was I mounted the motor to the motor mount and I also grinded down some of the motor mount just so i can get it close to the main gear because the um everything's really tight on this chassis as you can see for quite a large st truck the chassis is really small um but that's because it was nitro it didn't need loads of electrics on there but as you can see i've I can get it on the chassis but it's very close but that would do i've got a 17 tooth pinion gear and the main gear is a 45 tooth as well. But as you can see, the mount just fits on. So I'm going to clamp it down with a C-clamp, drill through the holes um, on both sides, mount the motor mount to the chassis, fix it down with nuts and bolts, and that's going to be good to go. So then what I'm going to do, I bought a battery tray now this battery tray cost me like three quid and it's going to work out really nicely ideally i would have liked to obviously mount the uh tray like that but i don't like the idea that the tray is going to sit over the chassis so what i'm actually going to do i'm going to mount it sideways like so so i'm going to just drill some holes in the bottom side mount it to the chassis and then we can use a battery now the batteries we've got loads of batteries but this one for example is obviously going to just fit into the tray be strapped in and then it's gonna mount on the side and once obviously the straps are positioned properly the battery's not really going to hang over the chassis at all so that's going to be much better and it's going to keep the battery well away from that main gear as well so that's how i'm going to obviously mount the battery it's going to be a bit of an eyesore to be honest like it's not going to be laid out lovely and look really professional but at the end of the day this is a conversion so um it doesn't need to look beautiful it just needs to work and this is such an old vehicle anyway um that was actually donated to us by um my nephew's girlfriend's granddad so we thought instead of getting it up and running back into nitro let's just convert it to electric see how long it lasts have a bit of fun with it uh, because we've had like the brushless kit kicking around anyway which can go in other vehicles once this one dies because if ever we strip the diffs or the main gear we're not going to bother replacing it we just cannibalize the actual vehicle and take all the electrics out and put it on something else so when it comes to the electric speed controller i'm going to mount the electric speed controller somewhere here like i say it's not going to be ideal um 
but it'll work. The motor wires and the electric speed controller wires will link up nicely and not be flopping all over the place. And then obviously the battery can go straight into the electric speed controller and so can the uh, servo wires. When I plug in my receiver, because the receiver is going to go somewhere here, like so, um, and then basically everything can get connected and connected quite easily and that is the main thing we just need to get things connected easily um, and look nice we don't want it hanging over the chassis or nothing like that but luckily because the actual chassis is quite small the body shell will still go on this vehicle no problem obviously the wires are not going to be in that position but just to give you a rough idea once everything's on, you're not going to see none of these wires or nothing like that. But all of the electrics are going to be contained on the chassis and underneath the body shell, which is going to be good for protection. Then obviously what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put a heat sink on the motor, wire up a fan just to give it that a little bit of extra cool down. And that is basically it guys. I'm looking forward to running this now. Not too sure how quick it's gonna go because obviously it is geared for um, nitro, but we have got different sized pinion gears. Um, so if we need to up the gear ratio or lower the gear ratio, we can do that by changing the pinion gear. The only problem is obviously this motor is gonna be mounted in kind of one position. Um, but what I've actually done is I've chose a pinion gear roughly the same uh, the same amount of teeth as the nitro engines fly gear had or flywheel had so we should be matching it all right this would probably just give us a little bit more instant acceleration but it don't have to be a speed demon, it don't have to be crazy high in torque. It's just a bit of fun and that's what this hobby is all about, just having a bit of fun. And then last but not least, I'm going to just be using one of my old 2.4 gigahertz radio. This is uh, an electronic pulse radio. Not great to be honest, it's a bit servo fussy, but I've got servos that will work perfectly fine with this radio anyway. And we've tested it. This servo works fine. So that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick last update on this project before I crack on with the build and get it done. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. This is going to be quite fun. Looking forward to seeing how well it works and if it works. I know it's going to work. We've done this kind of thing before, uh, converting, uh, converting nitro vehicles into electric and they normally work out quite well and we've done like T-Maxes and if we convert a Traxxas T-Max to electric something like this is going to be very easy compared to something like a Traxxas T-Max. So that's it guys I was dying to waffle, waffle on so I'm going to end the video there. So if you want to see more videos like this please do let me know because we've got plenty of projects on the go but I'm going to start trying to knock one project off at a time rather than keep on doing new projects before I finished old projects. So as always guys, please hit that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button as well so you can keep up to date on all my up and coming videos and it helps me out too. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy RCM. Take care. Bye bye.